All right, something a little different here this time. Uh, you know, we usually take an old seized up engine and, and restore it and get it running again. Well, here I'm going to take this engine, which uh, probably wouldn't take much to get running, and we're going to sort of destroy it so it never runs again. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, try and make a cutaway engine. You know, that's where you you, you cut away all the stuff so you. You can actually see the internals and see how the engine functions. You see them all the time at the shows, and uh, they actually made factory ones. But uh, a lot of ones, a lot of times, the guys uh, do it themselves, and you know everybody has different versions. So I'm going to take this one, disassemble the whole thing, and uh, we'll start uh, deciding what to cut it up and uh, what to leave. You know, like a lot of times you see them, and they won't have a shroud. I think I might try and just cut out the shroud so you can see what's going on there. And you could actually pull it and turn it. So, uh... Alright, I'm not going to show you taking me taking this whole thing apart because all it is just a bunch of unbolting and stuff. But, uh... Oh yeah, this is a... I think it's a 1963. Uh, 2 horsepower. I'm not sure, but, uh... That's what it might be. I looked at the numbers and uh, they're, they're pretty tough to see, but uh, everything like everything on here is uh, pretty decent, you know. As a matter of fact, the gas tank is so nice it kills me because I'll probably cut this in half. But uh, let me stick a light in there for you. I never see a tank so nice. Looks like you probably can't see it because it's it's too shiny. But this that thing in there is. Uh, let me see if I can get a good shot at it so you don't, I don't think it's going to work. But this thing is just so shiny, it's unbelievable. It's like brand new. But the outside of it, like where the solder joint is here, it's all compromised. This light ain't helping much, is it? That might be a little better. But if you look around this side, the solder is actually just popping right off. I've never seen that before. I'm sure I could fix it so uh, it would be right, but uh, if I find a, uh, a gas tank that's all rusted up inside or something, maybe we'll use that. Same with the carburetor. The carburetor on here is, uh, looks pretty good. Everything everything looks pretty good. And it's, it's not even seized. Matter of fact, I think it, uh, it might have a stuck valve because it spins too easy. So, I. Uh, I'm going to take this apart, like I say, and uh, you won't see that. I'm going to take it apart and clean it, and then uh, we'll start cutting it up. All right, we'll see you then. All right. Yeah, I said it, it uh, spun too easy. You know, I had a, uh, probably had a stuck valve and everything, but the more I dig around with it, uh, you can actually hear compression. Got, got compression now. This, this here, the problem there is just the... The balls in the detent there to start it are probably sticky. But, uh, oh, there we go. You can hear the compression. Yeah, the valve got on stuff just from twisting and, and moving it. So, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. This uh, engine was uh, sitting in uh, our buddy uh, Bill's uh, yard, and uh, chances are it would. It would sit there until he died, and then uh, everybody, you know, would take it and throw it in a dumpster, and it would uh, it would never get used again for anything. Like I say, I think it's a two horse, and they they uh, there's not much use for them anyway. So it's not like I'm destroying it. It's it's uh, going to be functional, educational. Kids can have fun with it. You know, they'll be pulling on it at the shows and stuff. So uh, it's not like I'm I'm going to destroy it completely. It's just going to be used for a, a different function. So don't feel too bad for it. Like I say, we we sort of rescued it. All right, let me let me get back to work here. All right, got it all taken apart and uh, I uh, wiped it down. I really didn't degrease it or clean it up because uh, I figured why clean up parts that you're not going to use, right? And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the whole. I got it all laid out. I got the the whole top here. You might not be able to see my marks, but I got a cut going across the top here, all the way down the side. 
uh, right to the right across the front here, and then uh, up this side here. I shouldn't have any trouble cutting it. I can cut it with a saw, but uh, right here I might want to hit a with a cutoff wheel because that's a that's a hardened seat there. That'll tear your blades up. So, and this one here, I got this laid out. You probably can't see it because of the glare, you know, but I have it marked out across there. And it looks like it'll work out. Not too bad. And uh, even the head here. Got the head marked out. It's funny. I had, when, it, when I was taking it apart, I had trouble with it. Uh, I had one bolt in here that was frozen solid, and that snapped off on the top there, but I'm going to cut that. I'm not going to use that part, so I don't have to worry about that. Even in the head, this, this is the same bolt, or is it? Hmm. Yeah. That, uh, that's the other half that snapped in there, so I don't have to try and take that out. And there was another bolt. Let's see what I have here. Here you go. Sorry about the camera work, you know. I'm working alone here. But, uh, I had one bolt here, and, uh, had to drill that out. That was, uh, solid in there, you know. But it turns out, I think I'm, I'm going to cut that off too, so, uh, I didn't need that. You know, I didn't have to do that. But, uh, I used 50-50, and, uh, it worked pretty good. So, uh, we're sitting pretty. Oh, you know what? Well, we got you here. Remember this gas tank? Maybe you get a better look at it since I got the I got a place I could stick some light down without without blinding you. Look how nice the inside of that tank is. That's crazy. Oops. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that at all. But uh, I may wind up cutting it in half anyway. All right. Let me uh, cut some of this up, and then we'll clean it up a little bit. All right. I cut what I needed to cut and uh, degreased some of this stuff. And here's what we got. And we're happy with it. Everything came out perfect. You know, every line came out where it had to be, had to wear where it had to come out. And uh, we're happy. So uh, that's the block. And here's the bottom. I still have to cut this. You want to, want to cut the the little section out here so you can see the the bottom of the connecting rod and the slinger and stuff. And what most people do is like uh, cut a circle or a square or something. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, they got the reinforcing brackets back here, and you really really don't need them. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them and just cut this one out in the middle. You know, it's going to be an odd shape, but uh, you're going to be able to see everything. Like I said, everybody does these different. So, even the muffler, I cut the muffler in half. And that came out uh, pretty good. So, oh, here's a flywheel too. Cut a little section out of the flywheel. Uh, some people cut it over here where the magnets are. and That way you can see the, the points opening and closing. But I think I wanted to leave the magnets... So uh, when you pull it, you can actually see the spark plug sparking. So uh, we'll see how that works out. But that came out nice. What I want to do now is uh, I got two gallons of uh, vinegar here. And I want to see if I can get rid of this corrosion. Like I said, I degreased all this stuff already. So, you know, I want to see if that... I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to paint this silver. But still, I want to get rid of as much of that corrosion as I can. You know, and even this, you know, this, this has some corrosion on it and everything. I don't want to soak this because I don't, I don't know what the acid's going to do to the inside. I kind of like the, the perfect shininess of the, the inside of this thing. So maybe I'll uh, do that by hand with a wire wheel and stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, that's where we're at right now. So let me throw this in some uh, vinegar and uh, we'll let that soak for a couple of days. I still have to uh, cut a few parts, a couple small parts. I want to cut the air filter here. And uh, I guess that, oh yeah, shroud. 
want to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave the shroud on or not, so uh, I'm going to, uh, I'll cut little sections out of that and we'll see what it looks like. Also the gas tank, I want to cut the gas tank. I got a lot of, a lot of cutting to do, so, uh, alright, I'll be busy. I'll turn you guys back on after I uh, do a little bit of work. Alright, it's another day and uh, I cut the hole in the side here like I said I was going to and uh, took it out and sandblasted it and uh, painted it. I used that hammer paint and I was able to I was able to get a good hammer out of it, you know. Sometimes you don't, you know. Got a good hammer on, on the front, the cover, and the side here. Actually this side here. Yeah, this side here. But this side, this side here, you know, it's just uh, bronze paint. But that's okay because this is the side you really don't see. It's tough for uh, spraying the uh, hammer tone because you have to put it on wet but not too wet or else you get a run, you know. And it, sometimes it just doesn't, the chemical reaction doesn't work. But uh, it looks okay, it'll be alright. So uh, what I'm doing now is uh, I took some of it apart. I actually put the, the valves in and I, I bought some uh, springs that, that weren't weren't so tight so the kitty when the kitties pull this you know it's uh, not much it's enough to keep the valves going up and down but uh, not not hard like a, a factory spring so what I'm doing now is uh, I'm taking red paint and on most engines where the cutout goes you know uh, they, they either paint it red or yellow and uh, I went with red because uh, the yellow seemed a little too bright to me, you know, a little too distracting from from everything, you know, and, and I didn't want that, you know, I wanted it to be a little subtle. So, uh, I'm going to paint these, uh, all the cutout parts, uh, red, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right, got it all painted up and all put together and uh, put the rope back in it and uh, I'm liking it. Uh, we're going to call it done. I can put a little uh, brick sticker on here, but uh, I got the light here so you can see. But uh, remember, it's for the kitties to look at, you know, because most most uh, adults know how these things work. So uh, you can see the coil and the magnets there, and then the points. You see that helps a little bit. Yeah, helps a little bit. You see the points. You can't see them opening and closing because of the way I. Uh, I cut the flywheel. I wanted to cut the flywheel so that the it still sparks. You know, so you can see a spark come out of a spark plug. Usually, most guys cut it at the magnets, and then you can see the points going up and down. But uh, you know, that's just a decision I made. So, uh, like I say, and, and even this side, you know, you could you could see the points and stuff in here. Now let's go around the other side. And uh, you know you can see see what's going on with the muffler and the carburetor and what's inside an air filter. And over here you can see uh, what the head does and the valves and the piston and uh, let me see if I can get a light on here. All right, let me hold the camera. I got the camera in my left hand, so uh, it'll be too critical. You know, you can see the splash, how the wheel gets thrown around down there. And then you, you see the piston going up and down. And how the valves work. So, uh, you know, it's all, everything's tight, you know, nothing's going to fall apart on this thing. So, let's put it up on a tripod here and we'll see if we get a spark out of this thing. Alright, we got you zoomed in on this and we're all going to see this for the first time together because uh, I set everything as if it was a running engine, so everything is uh, set the way it should be. So, let's uh, turn out the light and uh, see if we get a spark. Like I said, I won't be able to see. But you guys will be able to see, so let me know. Alright, I think I 
seen it spoil. I can't see it in the camera, but I could. I thought I seen it out here. You know, when I put the string in here, when I put the rope in here, uh, you know, we're not going to try and start this thing. It's never going to start. So uh, I only, I only have about uh, 18 inches or, or uh, two foot there. So there you go. Let me get you off the tripod here. And we'll take another look at it and then uh, call it good. Hold on, hold on. Hold it. It brings back. All right. All right. Take a nice look at it here. You know, like I say, everybody uh, makes these different. And that's just, you know, most, most of the time they don't even put the shroud on there, but uh, I thought it was nice to have the shroud, so. There we go. Alright. Let me get us a nice thumbnail and then uh, we'll call this one done. I should have turned it around to get the thumbnail. Instead of looking at all that garbage in the background. Alright. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.